Well, a very good afternoon, and on behalf of your cameraman, Billy Lee, this is your match commentator, Derek Disley. Welcome you to Hilton Park for this afternoon's Riedel Trophy first-round fixture between the Lee Professional Club and the Lee Miners Amateur Club. The Lee mascot this afternoon is Scott Pilkington, nicknamed Pilky, who attends Sacred Art School, Wormsley Road, Lee, and his favourite players are his dad, Grace, Paul Newlove, Jason Donoghue and Steve Corley. Pilky enjoys playing rugby for Lee East under nines and watching birds at Pennington Flash. Craig McCulloch, the son of the uh, miners, Wingman and skipper Neil McCulloch is the Miners mascot. We hadn't had that information before. But uh, our big match sponsor, of course, this afternoon are the Regal Trophy themselves in the 28th consecutive year of Imperial Tobacco sponsorship to the Rugby League. It's the longest running sponsorship in the sport. The big match holds as far as the League Club are concerned. Asda, of course, are the shirt sponsors. And Dib Lopton Broomhead, solicitors from uh, Preston. And Lancashire Publications Limited of Martland, Mill Lane, Wigan are our big hosts this afternoon. So, these two sides meet for the second time in uh, rugby league competition history. And the Lee lineup is one David Tanner, two Steve Corley, three David Hill, four Mark Sarsfield, five Paul McLaughlin, six Jason O'Loughlin, seven Mike Blakely, eight John Costello, nine Ross Bridge, ten Mark Meadows, eleven Neil Measures, twelve Paul Daniel, and thirteen Paul Marsh. Lee substitutes for 14, Sean Fanning, and 15, Glenn Davis. The minus side, I've got one, Mick Warburton, two, Neil McCulloch, three, Nick Sykes, four, Sean Coleman, five, Winston Sarsfield, six, Peter Marsh, seven, Mick Devine, of course, as the miners are on a break over on the far side. Good defence by Lee, but a superb break down centre field. So it's John Woods now, the skipper, player coach. Well, player coach, not the skipper. Neil McCulloch is the skipper this afternoon. So it's now the miners, but Marsh. It's now out to uh, Coleman. He's forced inside and tackled by McCoughlin and Sarsfield. Sarsfield brothers, of course, in opposition this afternoon. Lee caught offside on the sixth tackle. Sell the penalty to concede. I'll complete the miners' side. They have at six. Peter Marsh, 7, Mick Devine, 8, Gary Graney, 9, Darren Mort, 10, Tony Cottrell, 11, Gareth Hatton, 12, Wayne Lee, and 13, John Wood. So the substitutes are 14, Steve Wood, and 15, Doug Clark. So it's Winston Sarsfield with the first kick from the first penalty of the game. Only finds a couple of metres, but at least makes sure. Smile on Winston's face. As I said earlier, Winston in a op direct opposition to his brother Mark, who's wearing the number four shirt for Lee this afternoon. So, Miners, everything to play for, nothing to lose this afternoon. Lee come into this game on the back of a four-match successive defeat. John Wood's behind the play of the ball now. Out to Divine. Divine looks for his runners, finds his second row of Hatton. Bridge and Costello complete the stop. Of course, five X minus players in this Lee lineup. And a couple of uh, three X Lee players in the minors lineup. So it's now Divine onto his standoff Marsh. Marsh stopped 25 metres out on the last tattle. Short kick comes off a Lee player. Lee almost make a mess of it. They drop on it in the end in the shape of Mike Blakely, one of the five X minus players in the Lee side and Lee get the first penalty of the afternoon. Well these two sides of course have only met once before, that was back in February 1979 when Lee beat the Miners 23-10 in the Challenge Cup. The Lee hero that afternoon was the Mercurial John Woods who of course is player coach to the Miners this afternoon. So now it's the Lee skipper Mike Meadows taking it up. Good defence from uh, Wayne Lee. Bridge scores from Acton Harpock, tries to take on his opposite number Mort. Lee are 10 metres inside Miners territory. With Blakely, Blakely looking to take them on. Costello gets a good ball away, but the free has called someone out. Could be Tony Cottrell. And as well, of course, as being an ex-Lee player, is an ex-chairman of the Lee club. 
Well, they have been forced into an early substitution. Mark Sarsfield appears to have gone off and been replaced by Sean Fanning. So David Tanner with early opportunity to get points on the board for Lee. We've had uh, three and a half minutes of play. A reminder that it's a Regal Trophy first round fixture. Miners lost at this stage last season by 54 points to 12 at Barrow. But of course there have been three previous upsets when amateur clubs have beaten professional clubs in this competition. The last one happened here on this very ground when Lee East defeated Chorley three seasons ago. So the Miners will be looking to repeat that one. And Lee, of course, will be looking to ensure that they advance to the next stage of the competition. So David Tanner, four minutes on the watch. 35 metres out, right in front. First opportunity of points for either side this afternoon. And it's successful. Tanner gets the game up and running. So that's just four minutes on the watch. Dave Tanner gets the home side on the board. Plus now Steve Corlett, yet another of the former Miners players looking to impress this afternoon. Brought to ground unceremoniously by John Woods. Lay on, says the referee. So it's Russ Bridge now for Lee, on to Costello. Costello takes on the second row pair of Hatton and Lee. Tony Costello involved once again with his ex-teammate John Costello. The referee is going to speak to the lead number eight. Costello claiming he was bitten. And the referee has taken notice of Tony Cottrell. So the referee goes the minor, uh, gives the miners the penalty. Winston Sarsfield this time will go for goal, try and put his side back on level terms. So Sarsfield some 39 metres out, just to the left of the lead post. First attempt of the game. Almost seven minutes on the watch. Sarsfield doesn't get the distance though. Corley will bring it back for the home side. And an elbow went in there from Gary Graney. Free Brian Goldtrace is going to have his work cut out this afternoon. A fiery situation. It's already building up at Hilton Park as early as the seventh minute. And the Lee Club, of course, should show their professionalism and keep out of things like this. The free laying the law down. I believe Pryor is still prostrate on the ground and it's the ex-miners wingman Steve Corlett. Neil McCulloch doing the best thing, getting his players away from the situation. And the skipper Mark Meadow has a quick word with the referee Brian Goldtris. The referee has spoken to both his touch judges. And it looks as though Corley will have to go off. Corley's being led off the field. And with Mark Sarsfield already gone off. There's two substitutions for Lee. As early as the eighth minute. Uh, referee, who's he calling over? Certainly, I thought it was the number eight grainy, but uh, 
The free has gone to the pocket. And certainly more than one minus player involved in the tackle. But the free has kept his hand out of his pocket. Sanity resumes at Hilton Park. And Lee have made a second substitution. And Glenn Davis has come on. So Costello takes it in. It's going to be heavy work in the forwards now for the next few minutes. And uh, heavy tattling from the minus forwards. Playing on at the tattle by Mick Devine. Another penalty goes Lee's way. Mr. Goldfress needs to cool this situation down. He's calling over the minus skipper, Neil McCulloch, and the lead skipper, Mark Meadows. We've had nine and a half minutes play. There's very little rugby in that play. Lee lead by two points to nil. The referee is warning both sides. The next man will go. McCulloch is laying the law down to his team. Lee want to get on with the game. Blakely kicks for touch. Finds touch 10 metres in the minus half. The first one in now is Fanning. He makes a good 10 metres, stopped by Woods. Bridge behind the play of the ball, brings in measures. Measures looks to take them on, gets the ball away to Bridge in the tackle. Bridge takes play up to the minus quarter. Marsh now onto Meadows, the inside ball to Costello. Costello tries to plough his way through. Lee 12 metres short. Bridge goes left now to Blakely. Tanner wasn't expecting that one and the pass from O'Loughlin was not good enough the chance is lost and Miners will have head and ball at the scrum so this will be our first scrum of the game to be fed by Mick Devine feeds the scrum, McCulloch takes it no way through so now full back Warburton Gets over the quarter line. The referees in again at the tattle. Neil measures the man pulled out this time. And the referee has won both captains, who've in turn won both teams, and the first tattle, he gives a penalty. So Winston Sarsfield will kick for touch. about 15 metres this time oh it's marked with the tap here comes the big number 8 uh, Grainy good tattling for Lee by Daniel and Bridge and mine is still moving forward three man tattle in the end things to ground second row Wayne Lee now here comes standoff Marsh Miners just short of halfway. Mort behind the play of the ball. Goes right. It's now with Graney again. He stopped on halfway. Mort behind the play of the ball for the Miners. Out to Divine once more to Woods. Woods long pass. It's dropped by both Cottrell and Hatton. Referee will call them back for the scrum, 10 metres in the minus half of the field. So Blakely feeds the scrum, Lee get on with it quickly, come up with the possession. Aloughley gets a good ball out to Tanner. Tanner makes good yardage, stopped in the end by Sykes. Blakely now uses the short side with the... Paul Marsh, Paul Marsh on the lee side, Peter Marsh on the minus side, O'Loughlin again now on to Meshes. Meshes goes back to O'Loughlin, O'Loughlin dodges away from one, can't get away from Cottrell. Leah 25 metres out, bridge goes right to Blakely. 
Inside ball to uh, Daniel. Good run from Daniel. Takes three men to stop him, but he gets into the minus quarter line before his progress is checked. And he plays it to himself. Keeps going. It's within five metres of the try line. No one from the minus mark to play the ball then. Good attacking chance now for Lee. Lee go without it. Free calls them back for the turnover, and the miners will have the possession back inside their own quarter, in fact, 10 metres from their own line. And McCulloch tries to drive it clear. Now it's with Sykes. Lee will certainly want to contain the miners there. Graney on the charge now. Up to the quarter line, that's a good run. Now it's with Cottrell. Cottrell brought to ground. 30 metres from his own line. Minus throwing the ball about with some gay abandon. Cottrell gets it out to Woods, onto Devine. They've got a good line out here. It's all the way across to Coleman. A good tackle though coming in by Hill. And in the end, Sean Coleman is penalised for creeping forward some five metres before he played that ball. Claiming he was pulled by the Lee second row of Paul Daniel. Referee will have none. Blakely will kick for touch. Well, that was forward to Costello, but Lee get away with it. And that was a high tackle on Costello again. And Lee will get the penalty once more. So it's Blakely now, on to Measures. Measures stopped 10 metres out. Good defence that time from Hatton and Cottrell. Marsh looks to take them on for Lee. He's still on the 10, yard, 10 metre mark. So Blakely now, inside ball to Costello. Costello still going. Gets a good ball to Daniel, but he drops it. The miners drop it as well. The referee will call them back for the first knock-on. So a lot of sloppy play and handling at the moment. 16 minutes of the match gone. Lee just the two points ahead. The miners with Ed and Ball, which Divine feeds, gets back quickly. Sets off on a good run, stopped by O'Loughlin and Davis. Glenn Davis wearing the number 15 but playing in the left centre position for Lee. The miners take it up once more over their own quarter line. Walk behind to play the ball, Woods again. Miners try to change the direction but no way through for Marsh. Now it's Grady on the charge. He stopped midway between halfway and his own quarter line so it's been a good defensive six for Lee. Kick comes in. Off the boot, slices, Tanner makes sure, take it straight back, takes on Woods, and he stopped just short of halfway. So Bridge now gets it away for Lee. That's Mark Sarsfield back on the field. Must have been a blood binning. And uh, Sean Fanning has gone back to the bench. So it's a Lachlan now for Lee. On to Blakely. Short ball to Marsh once more, but the miners read that one well in the shape of uh, Gareth Hatton. Measures now gets it to Hill. Hill tries to crash through. Can't get past Divine. On the last tattle. Blakely launches a high one. That will come down with snow on it. And it's picked up in the end by Paul Daniel. And the try is given. I think the try is given. Lee second row at Paul Daniel. 18 minutes of the match gone. Paul Daniel is the scorer of the Lee try.
many bits, he'll have to switch lights on at half time. Right. And ask him, can they get somebody over here for the no, work? So, David Tanner having opened the scoring. The second goal kick for Lee will be taken by Mike Blakely. Blakely returning after injury. Slots it between the H. And Lee are ahead by eight points to nil. And we've had 19 minutes of the first half. So it's to be hoped that try will settle things down. The fury of the opening 10 minutes seems to have waned, thankfully. And it's John Woods back at the centre with the restart. Blakely takes that one, hands it on to his skipper Meadows. Meadows stopped by Grainy and Mott, and he gets over the quarter line first, and now it's measures on the charge. Good defence this time from Hatton. Costello looks for the space, takes on Woods. Again, no way through. Bridge now out to Blakely. To Meadows. And uh, yet another eye tattle. Swinging arm against Tony Cottrell, I think, this time. Lee got another penalty. Blakely finds touch midway between halfway and the minus quarter line. So, what can the professional club do now? First man in is Glenn Davis, shrugs off the first tattler, but Gareth Hatton makes the stop. Bridge now brings in Daniel. Not high by Wood, says the referee. Bridge takes them on himself. Divine and Woods are the tattlers this time. Leah just inside the minus quarter. O'Loughlin out to Blakely, back to O'Loughlin. Costello, Davis, but good covering in from wingman McCulloch. Meadows now for Lee. Balls with Sarsfield. He's brought to ground by Cottrell. On the last tattle, says the referee. Short grubber kick comes in. Sykes picks it up well. Sets off on a clearing run. Tattle by scrum half Blakely. The mine is back in possession. Deep in their own quarter, though, looking to drive it clear with grain it. John Woods trying to get things organised. Hatton on the charge. Good tattle in, though, from measures. Woods behind the play of the ball. No way through for Peter Marsh this time. So Woods reverts to the boot. Made good yardage. Tanner will pick it up on his own quarter. Boot to bring it straight back. Shrugs off the attentions of Mort. But the three-man tattle forces him back to his own quarter almost. And Lee got a penalty. Uh, ball stinching, ball pinching. Well, the miners were never 10 yards back, but they get away with it. Penalty count now 7 to 2 in Lee's favour, but that was at the intervention of the touch judge on the far side. Uh, almost a break from Costello, stopped by uh, Gary Grainy. Meadows can't get the ball out in the tattle. And the tattler was Doug Clark, who has come on for I don't know who. So Tony Cottrell may have been the man to go off. Can't see him on the field at the moment. The miners get their third penalty. Southfield drives Lee back to their own quarter line. Now what can the uh, miners conjure up from this position? Clark is first man in. Tattle 15 metres out. Bridge and uh, Meadows, the tattlers. Now it's with Woods. On to grain it. Good defence from Costello and Daniel. Mort behind the play of the ball. Goes left to Marsh. 
onto his second row of Hatton. Good tackling for Lee from Paul Marsh. And Daniel makes the stop on Darren Mort this time, and the mine is creeping closer. Woods long ball. And fine break by Warburton and a try for Mick Devine. And the Miners hit back in the best possible way. A fine try comes on the 24th minute. Mick Devine, the try scorer. And the Miners certainly not giving this one up. Creep back into it. The first points of the game. A 24th minute try from the scrum half, Mick Devine. So no, Winston Sarsfield. The opportunity, second kick of the game, to reduce the deficit to just two points. But she does. One goal from two attempts by Sarsfield, and a scoreline now here at Hilton Park in this Riedel Trophy first round fixture. It's Lee eight points, Lee minus six. And a superb half break from fullback Mick Warburton set up the position. It was a clinical finish from Mick Devine to capture the four points. And it's a blood bin uh, situation. I think Wayne Lee is the man going off. the miners at own to 12 men will take by McCulloch from the kickoff miners want to get Cottrell back on as quickly as possible why the four the ball is dropped Lee come up with the possession Cottrell comes back on the miners are back to full strength so Lee 20 meters out with measures Cottrell quickly in on the action Crunching Tattle comes in on uh, substitute Davis. Bridge now to Meadows. Meadows looking for the space. It's away from the attempted Tattle by Cottrell, but stopped by Grainett. Blakely now out to Marsh. The inside ball to Tanner. Tanner stopped seven metres out, right in front of the miners' pulse. Lee conjure anything up from here. Blakely with the dummy. He stopped his, uh, by his opposite number, Divine, in the end. Lee just five metres out. O'Loughlin now. David Hill. He stopped on the six tattle. And the Miners will have another turnover to get them back in possession. Lee will keep the pressure on. Sarsfield tries to break clear. Good defence coming in from Paul Daniel. Mort now to Wood. Crunching tackle there on the substitute Clark. Coming in from the smallest man in the lead pack, Ross Bridge. Well, Miners taking one or two chances now with their ball handling. Under a lot of pressure at the moment. But Woods again gets them out of the, their own half with a kick. Tanner takes 15 metres inside his own half, runs at Sykes and Divine and is stopped on halfway. So Lee back in possession once more. Sarsfield now. Norway past the attentions of Gareth Hatton. Bridge now out to Measures. Measures looking to try and unload in the tattle as he's stopped by Lee but can't make it. Marsh now stopped by Mort. Lee 30 metres out. Blakely now to O'Loughlin. Back to Blakely. And look forward to Davis. But Sykes gets the tattle in. The ball's on the ground. Certainly come backwards, but the referees call them back for a knock on. Head and ball to the minus. 30 metres from their own try line. Little to choose between the two sides at the moment. Miners win the uh, scrum. Marsh takes them on. Luke Sir Woods coming out of the pack. Brings uh, fullback Warburton into the action. 
Minus plays some positive football as Leo caught offside. Woods takes it quickly. There's no way Lee were back 10 metres, but he gets it away in the tattle to Mort. Sarsfield's in quickly from the wing to make the stop. So now second row of Lee on the charge. Stopped by Bridge 30, 30 metres out. In fact, it was Sarsfield. They both were in scrum cups. My mistake. Minus 30 metres out now. Sykes behind the play of the ball. On to Woods. To Marsh. Marsh forced back inside by Meadows' tattle. Measures completes the stop. Woods goes from acting half back. Brings in Divine. Good defence again by Bridge. Woods goes for the drop goal. No one chase, is it? Lee was slow covering back then. But the bounce was fortunate for the professional outfit. And Lee will be quite content with the tap from their own quarter. First man in is McLaughlin. Gets away from Hatton, but not Mort. Blakely now attacked in half-back. Brings in Measures. Measures gets it away in the tattle to Lachlan. Won't thank him for that one. Miners in quickly with the tattles. Daniel now. Again, good defence from the Miners. The tattler again was Hatton. Meadows looking to unload. Clark is back on the field. Bridge is upended by uh, Hatton. So Blakely puts the kick in. And goes straight to fullback Mick Warburton. And he'll be a willing runner for his side. Gets over the quarter line before he's stopped. Now it's Winston Sarsfield. Tattler is measures. Miners burrowing their way down centre field with Hooker Mort at the moment. Woods behind the play of the ball. Brings in Grainy. Beg your pardon, it's uh, the substitute Clark. So Woods now. Goes on his own from acting half back, catches the lead defence out. Signs of the old John Woods then. This time it's the last tattle. Marsh behind the play of the ball. What will Divine conjure up? Grubber kick. Tanner dives low to take it, ahead of the advance in McCulloch. On Sarsfield now. He's held up though by Wayne Lee's tattle. Hill on the charge now, it's a better run from the Lee centre. It's a good 15 metres on that occasion, run with some purpose. Bridge trying to get the play of the ball quickly and then missed it. So here comes Paul Daniel now for Lee. Free's going to penalise Marsh for a swinging arm. Marsh claims it was across the shoulder. But Mike Blakely will take the relieving kick for touch. Finds touch seven metres or so short of halfway. McCulloch takes uh, McLaughlin, I beg your pardon. Takes them on. Takes it five metres into the miners half. Bridge now to Blakely. Good defence coming in from Hatton. Meadows now to Costello. Costello brought to ground some 32 metres out. Knock on by Daniel. Poor play from Lee. Miners will be quite happy with that. They'll have head and ball. Winston Sarsfield has gone off now to be replaced by Steve Wood. Oh, that ball never appeared to go in the scrum, but the Miners have got the possession. So John Wood's now behind the play of the ball, on to Divine. A break by Warburton. An inside ball to Sykes, the Miners in full flow, good defence from O'Loughlin. Here comes... Uh, Mort now, great play by Davis though, 
good tattle, forced him out wide. So Divine now. On to Woods. Woods jinx again. Woods goes through the space. He's got Marsh with him. Marsh is in. A tremendous try for the Miners. Brilliant play from the old maestro, John Woods. In the 34th minute, and the Miners take the lead for the first time this afternoon. Peter Marsh, the try scorer, but John Woods, the provider. Brilliant break from the player, player coach of the Miners. And the Miners go ahead by 10 points to eight with the conversion to follow. And the change of kicker now, Sean Coleman will take the kick in in the absence of Winston Sarsfield. So both the Sarsfield brothers have been in the wars this afternoon. So it'll be Sean Coleman's first attempt of the game. He's just to the left of the lead pulse. That was a great combination in centre field from the two ex-professionals. Now Sean Coleman increases the Miners lead to four points. They now lead Lee by 12 points to eight and we've got five minutes of the first half remaining. Well, Lee always knew it would not be a, an easy fixture, this one. And that's what it's turning out to be. Sykes takes that one from the kickoff. And Lee have got to block these holes in the centre of the defence. And quickly. So a chance of miners, miners round the ground now. So Woods once more. This time it is the number eight, uh, Grainit, taking the ball up. Daniel and Bridge are the tattlers. He finds past a hat and loop forward, but they get away with it. Woods behind the play of the ball. Puts the kick over the top. Certainly John Woods dictating play at this point in time, but Lee will have head and ball at the scrum. Blakely feeds the scrum, Lee come up with the possession. Good tattle by Sykes on Sarsfield. Paul Ottlin now for Lee, on to Marsh. Marsh tries to get through Lee and Sykes but can't. Daniel will take it up, it's a better charge but the defence is there again with Hatton. Bridge now to Blakely, Blakely changes the direction. To Meadows, but Woods reads the situation well again, takes man and ball. Bridge now on to Blakely. To Olotley, back to Blakely. Try saving tattle there by uh, Divine on measures, but Lee keep the ball moving. And Clark makes the stop then on Blakely. So Olotley gets away from McCulloch, gets the ball out to Sarsfield. But Sarsfield's kick finds touch. So the scrum will go down 10 metres out. And we head on ball to the miners. So we make Divine to feed. Miners come up with the possession. Marsh looks to take them on. It's away from the first attempted tattle. Miners in possession, 15 metres from their own line. Driving it clear. Getting the basics right. Trying to set the platform. The defence stops them once again. So Woods now. Can Woods conjure up? Out to Divine. Long pass to Coleman. No way past McLaughlin though. Well, no way through that time for Sykes. Now, on the last tattle, Woods puts the kick in again. Tanner will take it straight back. Can't get away from Gareth Hatton's tattle, though. The Miners certainly got their act together now. 
Meadows takes it up, Sykes makes the stop. Sarsfield gets it away to Davis. Davis gets away from one but not Woods. And he loses possession as well. Davis claims there was a wood hand in there, stealing the ball. So, problems mounting for Lee. Four points adrift. Just 60 seconds of normal time remaining in this first half. Divine feeds the scrum, there goes Marsh again. So Myers, can they get anything else before the break? Graney takes it up this time. Marsh the tattler for Lee, now it's Woods. A short ball to Hatton. Good charge, but straight into his opposite number, Daniel. Woods again, goals from acting half back. Long ball finds Coleman. Not the best of passes to substitute Wood. Chance lost, but the overlap worked. Player coach Woods. Playing the law down to his players. Lee Pack wasn't down when Blakely fed that, but uh, they come up with the possession. No way through for McLaughlin, though. Hill brushing them off. Stopped in the end by Grady's tattle on halfway. Meadows hands it on to Bridge, not the best of passes. Bridge takes it up. Stopped by Hatton. Now it's O'Loughlin once more. Short ball to Measures. Lee keep it moving to Daniel. That's better from Lee. Can they get anything before the interval? The Lottling gets it away to Costello. He stopped on the quarter line. It's on the last tattle. Blakely must go to the air. He launches that one. It comes off a it. Comes off full back. Warburton. The referee has given a turnover to the miners. It hit him on the head. Perhaps the referee didn't think he gained an advantage from that, but he certainly played the ball or attempted to. It's all miners now. But Lee come up with the possession. Now deep into added time at the end of this first half. We've already had a full minute. And the Hooter goal to bring to an end the first 40 minutes which will cheer the hearts of the amateur supporters from Lee Miners. It's a half-time scoreline here at Hilton Park in this Regal Trophy first-round fixture of Lee, eight points. Lee Miners, 12. Stay with us for the second half. Cameraman Billy Lee, this is Derek Disler, remind you that the half-time scoreline in this Regal Trophy first-round fixture reads Lee, eight points, Lee Miners, 12. A reminder that the Lee mascot this afternoon was Scott Pilkington. The Miners mascot is the son of the captain, Neil McCulloch. The match sponsors, of course, are the Riedel Trophy themselves. The Lee match hosts this afternoon are Dib Lup Lupton Broomhead Solicitors from Preston and Lancashire Publications Limited from Wigan. So, Lee Miners striving to become the fourth amateur side to beat a professional club in this competition and uh, with a four-point advantage at half time who would doubt that they can't do that the league get advantage of that knock on my sights get the possession back and the ball is dropped possession goes the way of the subs minus substitute steve wood Miners looking to increase their four-point advantage. The ten metres inside the lee half of the field. And here comes a big number eight, Grain it. Oh, it's now Divine. Brings Hatton into the play. Good running by the uh, second row from the Miners. Here comes Woods. Changes direction again, scoots away from two attempted tattles. Stop 30 metres out by Bridge and Costello. 
Last tattle. Devine puts the short kick in. Knocked on by Blakely, I thought. Play on, says the referee. Well, Lee a little lucky with that one. Davis now on the charge for Lee. Makes 10 metres, no one with him. So Bridge goes right now to Meadows. Meadows gets it back to Bridge. Bridge can't get away from Hatton. And Lee get the first penalty of the second half for lying on at the tattle against Gary Graney. First half penalties were eight to four in Lee's favour. Scrums were five to three in the minus favour. But it's the scoreboard that counts and uh, it's the miners that lead by 12 points to eight. So here comes McLaughlin. Looks to go down centre field. Gets a good chase in. Good tackle in the end from Marsh. Lee 35 metres out and uh, a heavy tattle from Marsh has left McLaughlin prostrate on the ground. So it's now measures. Gets the ball away to Bridge. Good defence by the Miners. Costello now. Looking for the inside ball but wrapped up. Two Lee players down injured at the moment. Lee in the wars. No way through for Skipper Meadows. Kick ahead from Sarsfield is well read by Warburton, who makes a clearing run. Paul McLaughlin limps, limps back into the fray, as does Russ Bridge. No way through for Sykes, though. So mine is just outside their own quarter. uses his men well Hatton had overrun the ball so he brought in Grainy and now it's uh, Lee on the charge on the last tattle indicates referee Brian Goldtris Grubber kick ahead comes in from Coleman gets it back still on the last tattle though the referee will call them up for the turnover Three turnovers went the miners' way in the first half. That's the first one Lee have had. And Russ Bridge is still down receiving treatment. Lee are five metres inside the miners' half with Marsh. Tries to crash his way through. No way past Divine. Meadows on the charge this time. Stopped 30 metres out. And his defence really got its act together at the moment. They're looking to penetrate it. Inside comes Costello. Takes it up to the quarter. Sarsfield behind the play of the ball. Goes right to Blakely. Tries to take them on himself. Well stopped in centre field. We're on the last tackle. Daniel with the kick ahead, gets it back off a minus player, six more, so Lee can keep the pressure on. Home supporters trying to rally their side now. Looking for a runner, finds Marsh. Marsh is stopped on the 10 metre line. Lee applying the pressure. Bridge hands it on to Blakely, on to Davis, not the best of passes to Sarsfield. He's well wrapped up by McCulloch. Lee still 10 metres from the miners' line. O'Loughlin attacked in half-back, on to Blakely. Costello tries to change the direction, running at the handle. Good defence again from the miners. Bridge now to Blakely. Well, a, hand, a miners' hand in there again. McLaughlin takes it back. Still dodging and weaving. Six more for Lee, McLaughlin drives for the post, Lee just five metres out, Measures tries to get over the line and the ball is stolen and Lee will get a penalty. Now an interesting decision for Lee here, will they go for the two points or will they try and keep the pressure on? No, I think they're going to go for the two and reduce the deficit. They trail by four points at the moment, they go for two and get the ball back. So 
anyway, Michael Blakely from in front of the miners' pulse in the seventh minute of the second half. Blakely gets his second goal of the afternoon. And he reduces the deficit to two points. It's now a scoreline here at Hilton Park of Lee, ten points. Lee minus twelve. So the man is back at the centre with the restart. We made another substitution. Tony Cottrell's come back once again. And Woods with the restart. Take my McLaughlin again. And Doug Clark has gone off, and now here comes Meadows on the charge for Lee. That's better. That's good defence again from Hatton. Bridge now to Daniel. Daniel tries to get past Divine and Woods. Doesn't make it. Bridge behind the play of the ball. On to Costello. Costello clashes again with Cottrell. Bridge behind the play of the ball. Goes on his own. Can't get away from his opposite number, Mort. Blakely now at acting out back on the last tattle. Kick comes in, will, Lee will get it back. They will keep it moving. It's still on the last tattle, says the referee. But certainly that should have been an advantage to Lee. But perhaps he decided the minus player didn't get any advantage from it. So Lee Miners back in possession with John Woods. Hatton goes without it though. That's a knock on. Lee will have head and ball, 30 metres out. Quick feed by Blakely once again. Lothlin looks to take them on. Well wrapped up on the quarter line though. Now it's with Marsh. The minus tattling like Terriers at the moment. Been under the pressure for most of this second half, but only conceded the two points so far. Measures goes back into the trouble. Gets it away in the tattle, though. And good defence once again by the amateur side. For Blake now. A short ball to Costello. Cottrell and fullback Warburton near the tattlers. Lee camped out at the moment in this quarter. Dodging and weaving by Blakely. He's held up short though. And the pass to Costello was forward, says the referee. And the try is disallowed. So the scoreline remains, remains Lee 10 minus 12, minus the advantage of the turnover. Divine drives it clear. So the gut miners got to offer. Lee supporters will be hoping their side proved to be the fitter team at the end of the day. And it's the miners that are in possession. And they catch Lee with plenty of space up the centre once again. Good run from McCulloch. Now Woods takes them on. Kick comes in in the end. It's too strong. And Lee will be happy with that to have a turnover. That's the second of the game. Well, two balls on the field at the moment as David Hill tries to straighten things up. Woods kicks one ball off. Bridge just short of halfway now. Brings in Marsh. Good defence again by Wayne Lee this time. Lee going forward this time. Good drive from Daniel. Bridge behind the play of the ball. 30 metres out. Blakely. A high tackle on Meadows once again. And the 
referee's gone for his card this time. And Tony Cottrell gets a yellow card and ten minutes in the sim bin. So the former Lee club chairman and Lee player, of course. And will Blakely go for goal to try and tie things up? He is. The scoreline's 12 10 to the miners at the moment. In the 13th minute of the second half, the kick will be some 35 metres out, I think about 25 metres out, right in front. Lately, it's two from two this afternoon. Now he's three from three. Scores are all tied up at 12 points each. 53 minutes of the game gone. Miners have scored two tries to one. Well, the scoreboard shows that the sides are level at 12 points each. So it's Woods with the restart. Blakely looks for a runner, finds his skipper Meadows. Good tattling by Hatton. Regnay out to Measures. Good run from Measures. Good defence though in the end from uh, Marsh. No way through for Davis. Regnay to Costello. Mine is of course a man down at the moment. Well, you've got to take advantage of this situation. Bridge goes from acting half back. Thrown to the ground by Gray in it. Well, Blakely puts the kick in. It's one for substitute Wood to chase back. And forced to play it. Warburton comes away with it. Man is a little unsure on that occasion. Lee beginning to apply the pressure. Turn the screw, are the miners up to it? So far they have been. It's a good driving run. And the miners trapped inside their own quarter. Woods now hands it on to Hatton. Costello makes the tattle. Lee trying to keep the miners trapped in their own area. Sykes gets the ball away to McCulloch. McCulloch gets away from Bridge. Bridge comes back to make the stop. On the last tattle, Sykes now to Devine, Devine gets the kick away, well taken by McLaughlin, certainly made that one his own, takes it straight back, Lear in possession, in good field position again, 30 metres out, Hill goes from acting half back, tries to break the defence, last desperate tattle stops him by Devine, Meadows now to Blakely. No way through for Blakely, held up by Marsh's tattle. Meshes now to Bridge. And Bridge makes half a gap, but no one on the inside to take the ball. It's certainly been all Lee so far in this second half, and they make it tell. Meadows held up this time by Wayne Lee's tattle. They're on the last one. Surely they won't go for the drop goal. Blakely. And the short ball has unlocked this miners' defence. Neil Measures is the try scorer. That's relief all round for the home supporters. Comes in the 56th minute. It's Lee's second try of the afternoon and puts them back in front at 16 points to 12. Neil Measure is the try scorer. 
And now it's Mick Blakely. Attempt to put Lee into a six point advantage. 16 points to 12 at the moment. Kick is 20 metres out, 15 metres to the left of the post. Vital kick. One that Blakely makes sure of. That's four from four this afternoon. And Lee stretched their advantage to six points. They did, of course, lead in the first half after the first quarter by eight points to nil. They trailed 12 8 at half time, and now they've gone back in front at 18 points to 12. So, what have the miners got to offer in return? They certainly won't lie down without a fight. That try has been scored whilst they were down to 12 men. Woods with the restart, taken by Blakely, on to Meadow. It's all here in possession, 30 metres from their own line. Bridge goes left to the try scorer measures, he drives it in. Hatton stands his ground, makes the stop. Bridge hands it on now to Marsh. Marsh takes on Woods and uh, Green it. No way through. Just up to halfway Lee. Costello now. Good tattle coming in from Hatton once again. Bridge goes from acting half back, slips though. Defeat of John Woods. Daniel now. On the last tattle. Grubber kick comes in from Blakely. Take by the substitute Wood. Good covering. Lee tattlers are there in the shape of David Hill. And the miners try to drive clear with Warburton. Lee again will want to keep the pressure on, force the error. Good defence from the Lee second row pair of measures and Daniel on that occasion. A fine break by Devine though, he's looking for his support. Gets a long pass out to McCulloch. McCulloch gets it inside. And the ball is knocked on by Sykes. What a brilliant break from scrum half Mick Devine. Good support from his skipper Neil McCulloch. Lee defence was stretched, but uh, deputy fullback for Lachlan did a good job on that occasion. So Blakely feeds the scrum, Lee come up with the possession. No way through for. Tanner though, here goes Marsh on the charge, looking for runners, no one near enough to take the ball. It's Costello on the charge. And a late tattle there come flying in. And it's Marsh throwing punches. Well, we had enough of this in the opening quarter. We don't want to see any more of it. Nash was very late in with that third tattle. And who's gone off? Well, Bridge has been uh, simbin for throwing a punch. That amazing decision by Mr. Goldtress. The lead down to 12 men now. So McLaughlin is first man in, looks to use his pace, held up by Grainy, ball is stolen blatantly, but the referee has waved play on, and here comes Sykes making a break, Sarsfield makes the stop. So things going the miners way at the moment, they've had very little play in this opening 20 minutes of the second half, no way through for Woods, wrapped up by Costello. Mort now, on to Warburton, back to Mort, good play. Sarsfield in quickly though on Lee. Ball is knocked on, says the referee, miners claim it was stolen. So 
will be likely to fade. Well, Sarsfield is backing down at loose forward. There's no need for that because the referee is calling out the two hookers. And in this instance are Darren Mort and Paul Daniel. Daniel having moved up following the simbinning of uh, Russ Bridge, Tony Cottrell comes back on to make the man is a one-man advantage. Lee come up with the possession. No way through for Davis though, upended by Sykes. Lee on halfway now, Tanner behind the play of the ball. Brings in Marsh, he runs into Hatton. So Lee must find themselves a playmaker from acting half back now. Daniel on the charge, it's a good surge. Held up by Hatton again. Lee move it left now. On to Me Meadows. Great defence though by Divine on that occasion. Blakely going from acting half back looking for someone to our floor too. Does well to McLaughlin. McLaughlin surges back inside. Stopped on the quarter line on the last tattle. Warburton was the tattler. Blakely puts the kick in. Could be too strong. Minus will settle for that. Attack back on their own quarter. So 17 minutes remain here at Hilton Park. Lee ahead by 18 points to 12. Minus 15 metres short of halfway. Good defence for Lee by Hill. Woods now looks for the space, catches them out again almost. Costello was the man closing him down. Oh no, one of the man has got left in the tank. They're on the last tackle. Kick comes in. Finds touch, Sarsfield quite content to let it go out of play and give Lee the advantage of head and ball. Well again, Lee are packing with six forwards. Again, there is no reason for it. Here comes Tanner on the run now. Can't get away from Woods. Claiming the ball was lost. Free goal Trish doesn't want to know. Break on now by Davis. Out to McLaughlin as he got the pace. He's forced back inside a game. Great covering by the Miners. Substitute Wood. And Woods was well offside looking for the interception there, but Coleman makes the stop on Hill. Costello now. Measures takes it up, happens it on the stop once more. Blakely now. Marsh now can't get away from McLaughlin though. McCulloch, I beg your pardon. McLaughlin's a lee wingman. McCulloch's the minus winger. High one comes in from Blakely. Sits up nicely for Warburton. Good defence coming in from Sarsfield. That's where Lee want to be playing the game now. That looked high from Sarsfield. The free goes to his pocket once again. He could be in the wars once more. will definitely go the miners way Sarsfield walks away but he's called back by referee Goltris no yellow card this time though McCulloch was the man who felt the uh, swinging arm Woods trying to calm his side down for a final effort. Trail by 18 points to 12 at the moment. 
into the last 14 minutes of this Regal Trophy first round fixture. Woods finds touch on his own quarter, so the miners get back on level terms. Mortno brings in Cottrell. And they're going to have yet another punch up. Always seems something on when Cottrell gets the ball. Two, three men to bring him down. seem anything in the tattle, it seemed the danger of the other players joining in when there was no need. And Mark Meadows, the lead skipper. And Neil McCulloch, the lead skipper, uh, the Mark Lee Man is skipper. Both waiting to find out the referee's interpretation. Referee speaks to the lead skipper Mark Meadows. The penalty goes the miners' way. Well, this game is not won yet by any stretch of the imagination. Lee have got to remain uh, calm, cool, and collected if that's possible in this atmosphere. One ball comes on and it's the referee, the other comes on and it's the top tip. And Cottrell looks to take it back and drops it. Ironical cheers, smile from Tony Cottrell. Smiles all round in fact, that's good to see. made a mess of that scrum, now he's turned it round and given it to the Miners. Well that counts as a scrum won by Lee, but no. Wood's now playing standoff, can't get away from Tanner, lying on by Davis, gets away with it though. Sykes at the play of the ball now. Devine gets it away, good tackle in by Lee, by Marsh this time. No way through for Mort. Woods now. A short ball. No way through for Greeny. Woods goes from acting half back, gets it out to Cottrell. Good ball to Warburton. Keep it moving to Hatton. Good defence by Daniel. Miners giving it a good shot here on the last tackle. Woods launches the high one, that should be a tester. Miners come up with it, but it's on the sixth tattle. The lead player is down injured, and they immediately call for the physio. Great kick from Woods, but the lead defence stood its ground. Now Lee with a man in the sim bin, of another man down injured. like Jason O'Loughlin. Lee of the possession. But they're on their own quarter. They're six points in front and we're inside the last ten minutes. And Meadows on the charge. Stopped by Graney and Sykes. Lakeley now hands it on to Daniel. Daniel tries to crash through, held up by John Woods. Lakeley goes right. Costello drives forward. Bridges back on. Kick comes in from Blakely. Substitute Wood plays it with his foot. Sets off on a run, stopped on his own quarter. Here comes fullback Warburton. No way through though. So Divine now on to Hatton. Gets a good ball out to McCulloch. McCulloch looks for Sykes. Good covering though by Sarsfield. And the 
penalty goes against Mark Sarsfield. Unbelievably, that pulling the jersey, he says, the free goal, Tris. Darren Moore to come round from behind the play the ball to have a go at Sarsfield. Nothing was said to him. Still, Mr. Goldcrest is the man in charge. So here comes substitute Clark. The miners keeping it going to the end. They've certainly not given up. They've taken Paul Daniel on. So Fanning has come back and Miners get another penalty. John Woods will drive them back even further. Line touch just outside the home quarter. So Miners looking for a big final effort. Seven and a half minutes remain. In goes Gareth Hatton to set up the position. Mortis behind to play the ball. No way through for Clark. Miners looking to work a move. through though for Cottrell minus 10 meters out move it left it's now with Devine short ball to Warburton least defense stands its ground Miners driving again on the last tattle now Under comes in from Woods, that's a tester. Obstruction against the Miners, and another 10 metres further back. Well, the Miners don't want to lose their composure now. They can still have a big say in the outcome of this game. Blakely finds touch, 29 metres out. Lee will want to play the six. Sarsfield is first man in. Falls to a tattle from Clark. Fanning looking to get in on the action as measures straw drives down centre field. Sarsfield's lost his boot. Bridge now hands it on to Costello. Short ball to Marsh. Good defending again by Devine. Hill on the charge now. Devine's the tattler once more. Bridge moves it left. Blakely goes the other way to Costello. No way through on the last tattle. Two and a half thousand people in the uh, Hilton Park this afternoon to watch this local derby. Blakely launch is the high one. Taken under pressure well by fullback Mick Warburton. The miners are playing the game at the wrong end of the field for them. Bridge making the stop. They will want to keep the miners down here. Trying to use the big forwards to break out. No way through though for Grainy. Just six points the difference. Oh, and a fine break from acting half back by Mort. Hill makes the stop. We're inside the last five minutes. Woods going from acting half back. Gets the ball out to Steve Wood. On the last tattle indicates referee Goldtris. Woods will launch the I-1 again. I-1 into the night sky. Well, it's knocked on. Six more tackles for the Miners. 30 metres out. Woods now, once more. Graney drives it in. Now takes it in, held up by Marsh, 35 metres out. Warburton goes from acting half bike, stop 15 metres out. Miners looking for a big finish. Sykes moves it left, go without it. The three will call them back for the knock on. He will be quite happy with that position. Head and ball at the scrum, three and a half minutes of normal time remaining. Lee just the six points ahead. 
Lee come away from the scrum with the ball. Tanner tries to take them on. Jason O'Loughlin has now gone off for Lee. Lately behind the play of the ball, Hill on the charge again. Lately once more on to Costello. Costello makes a good 10 metres on that occasion. Bridge now behind the play of the ball. Moves it left to Meadows. Meadows gets over halfway. Miner still tattling to the end. Cottrell makes the stop on bridge. On the last tattle now. Blakely launches a high one again to Tess Warburton. Warburton's up to it once more. The Lee chase is good this time and Warburton's tattled in front of his own pulse. So now McCulloch looking for a run. Is juddling act, but they keep possession. Woods now trying to launch someone. Lee's scrambling defence hold them up in the end. Woods sets off on a match. Now Nick Sykes takes it up. John Costello has been named the Lee man of the match. Here comes Woods, it's a good ball out. Now with Coleman, Lee defenders are there. The free has given Lee a turnover. So what's going to happen in these closing minutes? Bridge moves it left. Just over a minute of normal time remaining. Bridge goes left. And it could be Neil Measures who finds himself in trouble here. And that looked like six of one and half a dozen of the other, but Lee got to play these remaining 60 seconds plus with a man in the same bin. Certainly not been a classical game and a local uh, derby and some uh, personal scores to settle, but uh, Miners to be credited with this performance this afternoon. They haven't finished yet. Just six points adrift. Divine now to Woods, on to Hatton. He stopped 10 metres inside the lee half. Woods gets it away in the tattle. No way through for Mort. now to Divine. Short ball, good defence by Blakely in the end. Stop the runner who was late. Divine misses out Woods. Woods gets it back. Woods scooters through a game. Wrapped up by Bridge on the last tackle. Cottrell now. It's a long ball out to McCulloch. McCulloch launches the eye one. Brilliantly taken though by the Lee substitute fullback. It's Paul McLaughlin this time, now Sean Fanning on the break. We're into added time here at uh, Hilton Park, 45 seconds over the, min over the 40 minutes played. No way through for Hill. Man of the match, Costello, drives it in. It's away from the first attempted tattle. Takes it up to halfway once again. Lee certainly know they've had a battle on their hands this afternoon. Bridge goes in. Blakely puts the kick in. Goes straight to Wood. Well, the miners would give for him to go the length of the field, but it's all too late. It's all academic. The referee's whistle goes as the hooter sounds. 
The final scoreline in this Riedel Trophy first round match of Lee, 18 points, Lee Miners Welfare, 12. For Lee, tries from Paul Daniel and Neil Measures, with Mike Blakely kicking four goals and David Tanner one. For the Miners, a try each for Mick Devine and Peter Marsh, with Winston Sarsfield and Sean Coleman adding one conversion each. So, on behalf of your cameraman Billy Lee, this is your match commentator Derek Disley saying goodbye from Hilton Park with a final reminder of this afternoon's scoreline. It finished Lee 18, Lee Miners 12.